A lot of us can't function. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you coming here for the first time, my name's Melissa. I'm just waking up, I'm not fully alive yet because I haven't had the most important part of my morning, which is coffee. A lot of us can't function in the mornings without our coffee and me being one of those people. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about ketogenic coffee, keto coffee, bulletproof coffee. This is essentially a coffee with butter and oil to get your healthy fats in to kind of start your day off with a nice punch of fats uh, if you're on the ketogenic diet. So I am gonna show you three different delicious variations of ketogenic coffee or keto coffee is how I'm gonna refer to it. Because <clears throat> over these past two months, I've been having the same exact coffee every morning and it started to get a little boring. Um, not that it didn't taste good, it tastes delicious, but having a few variations to alternate during the week definitely makes me feel like a barista. So let's get started. And if you're not already following me on Instagram and Twitter, you know what to do. Okay, let's make some coffee. So basically with ketogenic coffee, the base ingredients will be grass-fed butter, coconut oil or MCT oil. I first started with coconut oil and I've transitioned over to MCT oil just because it's user friendly. Um, coffee and heavy cream, so here we go. I always start with Kerrygold grass-fed salted butter. The MCT oil that I'm currently using is from ProMix Nutrition, it's flavorless. And the best thing about this is that it has a little pump, so there's no scooping, pouring, measuring, you simply just add your your pumps in there. For every three pumps, it's five mils. Uh, 15 mils is one tablespoon. So I need nine pumps of this in my coffee. Let's make a traditional cup of keto coffee. So do you see these little notches here? I cut one tablespoon of this. that in there. Now I'm going to add my nine pumps of MCT oil. I pop this in the microwave to just kind of melt it a little bit. The next thing that I add to my coffee is heavy whipping cream. Now this is what's going to give it that foamy, frothy deliciousness on top. I add about two tablespoons of this. Now I add two dashes of cinnamon. I like my coffee sweet, so I add about two teaspoons of a So this is what it looks like in there. And now I'll add my coffee. Now this is where I would normally throw it in a blender and blend it up, but I'm lazy and I'm tired of washing my blender. So I got this little bad boy on Amazon for about 10 bucks and it works great. Make sure you put this all the way down on the coffee before you turn it on. Look at that beautiful cup of coffee. This is the base for keto coffee, except uh, with, with the other two variations, I'm going to omit the cinnamon. Now I'm gonna make a Mocha Latte Keto Coffee. Keto Coffee has zero carbs in it. When you make Mocha Keto Coffee, you're gonna add one net carb by adding Hershey's Unsweetened Cocoa. So here's the macro for you. Take a 
tablespoon. Now I'm going to add my coffee. It's time to blend up this chocolatey goodness. What mocha latte would be complete without whipped cream? This does have a measly carb in it for two tablespoons. How do you even measure two tablespoons of whipped cream? So there we go. If you wanted to be extra, you could sprinkle some cocoa on top. So I'm gonna enjoy my mocha keto coffee. Mm. And wake up, and then I'm gonna head to the gym. I'm gonna film the third, um, the third variation of the keto coffee, which is gonna be a chai latte tomorrow because I already made two cups of coffee. I don't think it's safe for me to have a third cup of coffee and I definitely don't wanna make it and waste it cause that's like a sin, right? So, cheers. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you the third variation for my ketogenic coffee. I just got back from a bar class and it's the second time I've ever uh, tried bar before it is so freaking hard like my daughter had asked me to go with her and I was like yeah like do some ballet moves that's fine like I lift I can handle it oh my god you don't even know Nina if you're watching this thank you for being so motivating and so uplifting and for kicking my ass today really okay so let's make chai keto coffee okay so what you're gonna need is organ chai sugar-free chai tea latte here's the macros so it has one carb per half cup that's before adding milk which we're not gonna add milk we're gonna do heavy cream we're gonna do our tablespoon of Kerrygold butter. We're gonna do our one tablespoon of MCT oil. Measure out your butter. Nine pumps equals one tablespoon, which is 15 mils. Tablespoon of your heavy whipping cream. Now I'm gonna put this in the microwave for 30 seconds to melt the butter. chai and it says the serving size is half a cup that's probably about a cup this chai keto coffee probably has two carbs now you're gonna add your coffee take my coffee mania blender this thing is freaking amazing I love it make sure it's all the way in the bottom turn it on how yummy this looks. You top this 
with a little bit of whipped cream. Now you can admire your coffee. Okay guys, so those were my three different recipes for keto coffee to kind of keep things different so that you don't get bored having the same coffee every single day. All three recipes are so good. I hope that you like this video and that you'll go ahead and make one of these recipes for keto coffee. If you try one of these recipes out, comment below and let me know how you liked it. And let me know if you have some different variations for keto coffee or maybe some ideas that you would like me to try. I really like my coffee on the sweeter side. I know some people really like theirs more bold. So which team are you, team sweet or team bold? Comment below and let me know. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. I'm gonna go drink my coffee now and recover from that bar class. Thanks for stopping by guys, I'll see you next time.